Hey, I'm Kristen. I'm just back from sabbatical, and this week we have for you a recipe that takes the simple snickerdoodle cookie, and somehow Jesse Sheehan, the genius, has made it even simpler with a bunch of genius tricks. The best part of all is that we can make them super fast and we don't have to wait for anything. Because we don't have a lot of time. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, you. Hey, are you ready to bake? Yeah. Okay, great. So, I have this butter here that is almost melted, but not all the way. So, we are gonna start with this. We're gonna whisk this shortening in. Could you scrape this into the bowl and we'll start whisking, please? Oh, it's pretty sticky, huh? Where'd my spatula go? <laughs> so we are going to whisk this little bit of shortening into this almost melted butter. Here is Jesse to explain why exactly we are doing that. You pull it out of your microwave, you immediately whisk those butter chunks into the melted butter, and it's already cooled down. That butter that hasn't melted cools down the rest of the butter. You then add some shortening. The shortening's at room temp. That melts quickly because the butter is still warm-ish. Um, and then, you've, then you have this kind of liquid fat to begin the process of making these cookies that is 100% at room temp, which is important because you're gonna wanna put that cookie dough into the oven you want that cookie dough to be room temp when it goes into the oven because you do not want those cookies to spread. And part of why things spread in the oven is if they go into the oven warm. So if we have our room temp cookie dough, we have a much better chance of getting cookies that do not spread. So now we can add some of the other stuff. What's this? Sugar. Sugar, yeah, it's brown sugar. Do you wanna take a little taste? I promised. Okay, now we're gonna whisk the rest in. And teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just breaking this up. Okay, great. Can you hold that, please? Mm. And I'll pour the vanilla in. Mm. Okay, pour that in. Mm. Yeah, okay. Okay, now we need to whisk vigorously for 30 seconds. Can we count to 30 while we're whisking? Yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, do you wanna crack the egg in? Awesome. Should we whisk it all in? Nice. Looks different now, huh? Our cold egg is in. I love that Jesse specifies that it's a cold egg straight from the fridge. We don't even have to wait for room temperature eggs. And now we just have to whisk in each of these things. Baking soda, can you whisk that in? This is another super smart trick of Jesse's. Each of these dry ingredients is being added individually so that we don't have to use another bowl. And that also means that we're incorporating all of the leaveners and things without adding the flour till the end, which means that we will not overmix it. So, got our baking soda in. Now, do you wanna pour the salt in or do you wanna whisk it? No. Okay, I'm gonna pour the salt in. Now cinnamon. Do you wanna pour the cream of tartar in? So the cream of tartar is a pretty critical snickerdoodle ingredient. It's one of the things that makes these snickerdoodles instead of just sugar cookies. It's a leavener, but it also gives them their signature tang, which I love. I gotta get the small pink. Okay. You never know what the most fun part of a recipe is gonna be, right? Mm. While we finish painting, here is Jesse to tell us the story behind the name of this recipe. Epic because, hello, they're really yummy. And then um, snickerdoodle, because that's what they are. And then Stephanie is my um, is my recipe tester who tested all the recipes in the book. She's a really good friend of mine. The book was written relatively quickly for a cookbook. And it was really important to me to have somebody super, super 
super, super talented working with me and honestly, like with a much more sophisticated palette than mine. I mean, I don't want to throw myself under the bus, but I tend to like things a little on the sweet side. I, I just feel like she is a little, she is, has a much more nuanced um, palette than mine and, is, and was able to pull me back when I needed to be pulled back, add something when I needed something added. So it was very collaborative. And when I sent her the snickerdoodle recipe, and the first thing she said to me was, oh my, and to, you know, I sent it to her to test. The first thing she said is, oh my gosh, I love snickerdoodles. They're my favorite. And I was like, ah, got to name the cookie after you then. Flower time? Yeah. Okay. So now because we whisked everything really well before, all we have to do is just gently fold this in. We're just gonna do it until all the flour disappears. And then we stop. All we had to do to make this cookie dough was stir it, well, whisk it and then stir it. All in one bowl, no stand mixer, no hand mixer. Okay, is all that flour in now? Yeah. Pretty much, there's just a few little speckles, but that's okay. All right, I think we're all mixed. Now we get to scoop. Oh, we have one more job. Do you wanna mix some sugar and cinnamon together? Okay, put that in there and whisk, because that's what we're gonna dunk our cookie dough in. Mm-hmm, yep. Hey, that looks pretty mixed. So here's what we're gonna do. Can I show you one? Yeah. Okay, so. Here's our scoop of cookie dough. I did it. Yeah, can you, can you uh, empty it into there? <gasps> you did it! <laughs> awesome. So now we don't need the whisk anymore. Now all we have to do is just toss this around with our hands like this. Can you, can you make sure it's all covered in cinnamon and sugar? All right, and then... Toss, toss. Toss, toss, toss. And then can you plunk it over there on that cookie sheet? Nice. Perfect. So we this dough is soft. Jesse gives us that heads up. That is totally fine. That also means that we don't need to roll it into a ball. Um, I actually tried a few. It doesn't make a difference. They all form perfectly beautiful circles either way. Okay, ready? You wanna do it? Okay. While we finish tossing this cookie dough, here's Jesse to tell us a little bit more about why we bake these a little hotter and a little faster than most other cookies. The, the cook time and the cook temperature of a snickerdoodle is kind of set in stone, unbeknownst to me. And I played around with that a little bit because that's just how I roll. I was like, this can't be true. Can't I just bake this cookie at 350 like a regular old cookie? Can't I do eight, eight to 10 minutes like a regular old cookie? And I'm usually very much a rule follower. So I don't know what happened to me on snickerdoodle day, but I was feeling like a rebel. And I found that no, you cannot. Like the cookies overbake and or they don't, rise and fall in the proper way if the if the oven's at 350 as opposed to 375. I think that's part of the higher temp is that the cookie lifts and then collapses. Um, and then uh, and then the um, short bake time, I mean, again, I wish I was a scientist so I could tell you why, but it really, with with those shorter amount, the shorter amount of time spent in the oven really does produce that kind of unbelievably kind of like chewy, perfect kind of um, snickerdoodle vibe that's not cakey. I didn't want a cakey snickerdoodle. I don't think cakey and snickerdoodle even go together, but that, um, that short bake time helps produce that. Now we're gonna bake them at 375 for six to eight minutes. They are going to be cracked and slightly domed. Now we just have to wait six to eight minutes. What should we do? We go count. Oh, should we count? Yeah. Okay. One, One two, <laughs> three, four, five. Now we dance? Okay. Okay, we're gonna have a dance party. And in the meantime, Jessie is gonna tell us about one more genius trick that she has with these cookies that happen right when they come out of the oven. Okay, let's dance. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 
I think it's nice to smash your cookie when it comes out of the oven in case it remains kind of puffy when it comes out of the oven. And that's really a, a personal, um, uh, kind of a personal feeling of mine. I very much prefer a flat kind of thick, like the idea would be like a thick and chewy cookie that's kind of flat on the surface as opposed to something puffy. Puffy makes me think cakey, which isn't always the case, but that's sort of what it, what, how it reads to me. And I just personally enjoy a cookie that is um, kind of flat and thick and it sounds negative and I don't mean it, but a little bit dense. And that's why I recommend the spatula. Okay, these look done. They're domed, they're cracked, they're beautiful. Almost ready to eat. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm excited too. Here is that one last genius trick from Jesse. We are going to decide, do we want puffy cookies or do we want dense, chewy cookies? That's exactly what we're gonna do, we're smashing them. Isn't that fun? It feels so counterintuitive to take these cookies and smash them under a spatula, but that is what gives them that dense, chewy, yeah. delicious middle if you are not a puffy cookie person. Do you think you're a puffy cookie? Oh, wow, <laughs> we're ready to try them. It's not hot? Good? Okay. So here, we can look at the difference too. Let's take this one that we just started biting. See the inside of that? Puffy, airy, oh, you see, puffy, airy. Here, we'll break it, you can see. Whoa. I break it. Delicious. And then. I break it. Oh, you broke that one too? So this was a smashed one. It's just denser. See? No air, all cookie. <laughs> what do you think, are they good? They're really, really, really good. You wanna share some with dad? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's for you. Thank you. Mmm. You like it? I love it. Mmm. You guys did a great job. Mmm. <laughs> we better go <laughs> because otherwise we're going to eat all these cookies really, really fast. Thank you so much to Jesse for these Cookies, I would truly call them epic snickerdoodles, just as she has. They are amazing. I hope you make them. Let us know in the comments. Be sure to hit like and subscribe for all of the Genius recipes, and be sure to tune into the Genius Recipe tapes for so much more from Jesse about this recipe and this book, Snackable Bakes. You wanna say bye-bye? Do you wanna say, we will see you in two weeks? <laughs> we will see you in two weeks.